I've had a question sent in by Leah who asked me when you're describing the skewness of a box plot do you look at just the box or do you take the whiskers the two tails into consideration as well now my answer to that would be generally you're looking at the whole distribution you are describing the whole thing so whiskers do count but in a lot of cases you don't really need to look at the whiskers because in this case if I ignore these whiskers on either end in fact let me just take those away do you need to see what the whiskers are doing here to be able to tell whether this is skewed or not not really you can tell that there's a really strong concentration if this was to be a histogram for example there's a strong concentration around this median and then it tapers off a bit going that way like that so you can already see a skewness here just from this box and so even if the whiskers were exactly even going out each side we can still tell okay so we've got roughly the same amount going out in each tail this is what our distribution looks like you can still see that you've got this peak here this high point and we go rolling down the hill and our arrow is pointing towards positive numbers so this has a positive skew to it same if we had it going in the other direction if we had a box that looked like this we don't really need to see the tails to know that that's going to be skewed in the opposite direction put your pen on the peak roll down the hill and that's the fun way here we'd just be er, falling off the cliff so we want to go the fun way down the hill and again as a histogram this one would have a concentration right around here and then it would tail off like this to this point and then here we'd have a couple more bars down here in this tail and a couple more bars down here like this in this tail but you can still see it's got this skewness to it but if you have a situation where the box is even like this say your box is perfectly symmetrical like that you can't already tell what the skewness is so you're going to need the information that's in the tails so say our box is even but these are what the whiskers look like now what do you say about the skewness we're not going to say it's symmetrical just based on what the box is telling us because clearly it's not if we draw this as a histogram we have a concentration of data around this median point then it tapers off a bit there and tapers off a bit there and so far it's balanced but then we have a couple more there and this bit goes for ages this tapering off goes like this down the hill so if you're looking at a histogram like this would you say because it's balanced around the middle 50% of the data 50% of the data is there but that doesn't mean that it doesn't skew this way we've got pointing towards positive numbers so this is positively skewed despite the fact that the box is symmetrical so I think some of the confusion around skewness of box plots and whether you just look at the box or whether you take these tails into consideration these whiskers into consideration stems from the fact that most of the time you don't need to look at the tails most of the time the box will do but in those instances where the box doesn't give you enough information or it's not clear enough like for example that one is that skewed this is a little bit longer so you might say but it's more kind of symmetrical then you would need more information then I would look at the tails and then this one would tell me yeah there is a skew going that way but this kind of distribution is really rare I mean it's quite odd to see something that would be balanced in the middle and then have tails that didn't match because it's likely that if it tapers off this way you know it's going to do it in this 50% of the data as well so I mean it would be quite odd to see a distribution shaped like this if it did happen look at the whole distribution because as you can see this you know it does have a skew to it but most of the time if you see something with a really long tail going in that direction it's because it's got it's already got a skewness to it which you can see from the box so you're taking the whole picture into account you are looking at the whole distribution but most of the time you get the bulk of the information from the box and if it's not clear one way or the other I mean if you have a box that looks like this and this tail is slightly longer than this tail is then you're not going to say that has a skew to it that is really symmetrical so if if you're getting confused because you can't tell you know how long each side is and that kind of thing something has to have a very 
definite shape to it for you to call it skewed. You know, a lot of the time, if it looks like that, it is just balanced. You don't have to say it's positive or negative. Don't forget that things, you can say that something is symmetrical. So in some instances, the box will give you enough information. In those cases where it doesn't, then look at the whiskers as well. I hope that answers your question. Um, feel free to send in any questions that you might have and I will gladly answer them for you. Thanks guys.